Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean what are you waiting for guys, hit that subscribe button now. Also please don't forget to press the bell icon. The UK newspaper front pages were awash with outrage and upset following the launch of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's six-part Netflix documentary series. According to a Palace Insider who provides a frank review of the Harry and Meghan documentary with TV critic Lucy Mangan writing the series was so sickening I almost brought up my breakfast. The headline on the front reads, Renewed Frenzy, but the story remains the same. The Daily Mail offers a fierce critique of the royal couple, citing critics accusing the pair of wanting to bring down the monarchy and describing the tell-all as an assault on the Queen's legacy. The Telegraph follows a similar theme, claiming the show was a direct hit on the late Queen's legacy after the Commonwealth was described as Empire 2.0. The paper quotes royal sources condemning the description as appalling and factually inaccurate and said it was deeply offensive to the Queen's memory. The Times quotes a source describing the series as a soap opera and leads with Buckingham Palace disputing the claim that the royal family had declined to comment on the series. The country's High Commissioner to the UK also criticized clumsy comments about the Empire 2.0. Ikatu Seni Audu said, To think we would sign up blindly to be vassals to another empire is to suggest we are foolish. This is why many in Gabon would feel patronized by these clumsy remarks. We entered the Commonwealth last year with our eyes wide open and hearts full of excitement. There was astonishment inside the royal household and at the headquarters of the Commonwealth in London that the Sussexes used footage of the Queen to criticize Britain's role in the Commonwealth. The documentary showed footage of the late monarch at a Commonwealth summit in 2018 and a recording of her broadcasting to the British Empire in 1947. It was interspersed with criticism of the organization by writer Afua Hirsch and academic Kehind Andrews, a professor of black studies at Birmingham City University. Miss Hirsch said, I sometimes call the Commonwealth Empire 2.0 because that is what it is. Professor Andrews, who has previously claimed that the royal family was deeply embedded in racism, insisted the Commonwealth had not changed from the days of empire, adding, If you look at the black people in the Commonwealth, well, their conditions are almost just as bad as they were 50 or 100 years ago. Royal sources were exasperated that Harry was, in the words of one critic, trashing the Queen's life work by using the Commonwealth criticism in his TV series. Another said, that was astonishing. It really did strike at her legacy. At the Commonwealth headquarters in London, staff questioned why Harry and Meghan chose well-known British critics of the organization and of the monarchy to take part in the series instead of asking member nations why they joined. A Commonwealth source challenged the view that it was perpetuating the empire. He said, this is very odd, a historic view that seems to ignore why our diverse member states freely joined the Commonwealth based on their shared values and what they gain from their membership. The new Commonwealth is led by our equal members, and it is them that direct our work, decide on our priorities, and benefit from our successes. The Queen's Commonwealth Trust, which was previously honored to have Harry and Meghan as its president and vice president, has distanced itself from them. So what do you think about this news, guys? Do you think Harry and Meghan are going way out of their line this time dragging late Queen's legacy for their PR plot? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turns out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. Thank you so much.